Hey Loopers, what's up? This is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com. I'm also an Ableton Live certified trainer. And today I'm gonna to show you how to organize your track library. Because I know that it can get really complicated when you're downloading files from a bunch of different websites, and then you have all these audio files scattered in, you, in a downloads folder or your desktop, and then you create an Ableton session, and then maybe a couple weeks later you need to play a song again, but you can't find the file. Organization is everything in running tracks. You really wanna make sure that all your files are really organized on your computer so you can find them easier later when you're gonna play the song. So let me just give you a couple tips. I'm gonna show you first of all, I've got, I went and downloaded a couple tracks um, from Loop Community and they came into my download folder and so here's the zip files, right? Now I could double click on these and to unzip them and the mistake that many people make is they go ahead and just start adding the tracks from this download folder into Ableton Live. Well, sometimes your download folder gets automatically cleared or you might accidentally delete it. So you wanna make sure you save all your downloads in one place so that everything is organized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me just delete that unzip I did. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these zip files to one folder on my computer where I keep all of my songs. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna open up a new finder window. Command N opens a new finder window and I'm gonna make a folder on my computer, maybe under music. I'm gonna right click and rename this folder and call it um, Master Track Library. All right. And now in this folder is where I'm gonna put all of my tracks that I own. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in those new downloads that I, that I just did, I'm gonna go ahead and put them here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and unzip these. I can just right click on all of them and click open. And it is going to unzip all of those zip files. And then what I can do once it's done doing that is I'm actually going to delete the zip files because we won't need those anymore. Now you would just re repeat the same process anytime you download a new song. So I'm gonna sort this by kind. I'm gonna go and delete the zips because I don't need those anymore. And now I have all my songs here sorted alphabetically which is really nice, all right? I've got All He Says I Am, this is a split track, I've got Empires, which is a multi-track, you know, enough to cover me, so all my tracks here. Now I could put these in Dropbox, maybe that would be a good place to keep everything, you know, in the cloud. Now let me show you how I would actually bring these into Ableton Live. So now what I would do is, I would, in, the, in Ableton Live, on the left-hand side of the screen, there's a section called Places. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shortcut to that folder so I can quickly access all of my songs at any time. So I'm gonna click Add Folder, and it's gonna ask me what folder do I wanna add. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose Master Track Library, all right? And now you'll notice that next to places I have a Master Track Library. And now within Ableton Live, I can quickly access all of my songs. So if I'm gonna bring in, you know, Real Thing, here it is, I, can, I have all the tracks ready to bring in, just like this. Or if I need to bring in uh, you know, more, well then here's all my tracks. This is gonna be our second song. And then you know, God, of Vic God Victorious, gonna bring that in. So I can quickly access all my tracks. I also know that none of these are gonna get deleted unless I you know, went into my track folder and deleted them. But it's really important to have all your tracks in one place just, just to stay organized. Now here's another really cool thing and this is something that is a feature of Ableton Live 10. And it's something called collections. So you can actually tag different types of tracks with tags. And you can call these uh, different things. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to collections. I'm gonna go to edit. And what I can do is I can actually turn on these different collections. So let's just say I'm gonna turn all these on. These are different color collections. And I can even rename these. So I could say, you know, red, I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna call this, red is gonna be um, all of my multi-tracks. And orange, I'm gonna rename, and these are gonna be split tracks. And I could further tag these, I could make yellow, you know, master tracks, purple, premium tracks, green, community tracks. You could tag these however you want. So now that I have some tags for multi-tracks and split tracks, I'm gonna to go to my master track library and I'm gonna go ahead and tag these. So all he says I am is a split track, so I'm gonna right click and choose split track. Empires is a multi-track, I'm gonna right click and tag it as multi-track. Enough for me is a split track. 
God Victorious is a split track, more is a multi-track, real thing is a multi-track. So now really quickly, I can just, using these collections, if I want to see all my split tracks, I can just click this, and it shows me all of my split tracks. Or if I want just my multi-tracks, I can choose this, and it shows me all of those. Now you could use tags for anything, for maybe a service type, you could tag them by you know, Easter or song theme. If you want to maybe tag songs as a communion songs, then you could just click here and choose a communion, and it would show you any song that's communion, or maybe opening songs, or, I mean, it's endless. So, I'm OCD, I love organization, I like streamlining things, making my life easier, because here's the thing, you don't need to be spending a lot of time with this stuff. You can do this really quickly, and just a little bit of organization will make your life easier. I hope this does for how you're running multi-tracks. Thanks for being a part of the community.